welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danny, and this is Coffee Break with Danny. I have made better lip choices. I'm still on the fence with this old swatch. Oh, there's a lot of swatches on my hand. You know, I could have, at the very least, you know, the very, this is like, like you coming to visit me and I'm still in my pajamas. I'm so embarrassed. I know better, I should have manners. You know, you're coming into my beauty house to visit me and I'm like, oh, here's the leftovers from another video that I just did. Look, I was in the mood today and I was like, I owe you guys some content. I have been motivated. And even though I am like life rafting it right now, like I am Jack on the door. I know I'm gonna freeze to death. <sighs> but I have the heart of Despero. Yeah, you know, the little, the little mouse with the ears, like, can't stop me. No, you're not. You know, you're it's, it's September, October. This is what happens every September, October. I make questionable lip choices. I'm overwhelmed and flooded. And just like my life is on fire. And that's fine. Because you know what that means? Haul videos. <laughs> this, lots of breakage. You know, if I want to do the money piece, like I know this is part of the territory and I'm okay with it. We had girls night a couple of weeks ago and I told Irma, hey, I need to go to Sephora before ladies night because I have a shopping list of things that I refuse to buy online that I have to see in person that I need to touch first. Do you want to come with me? Like, do you want to go there early and shop and then go to ladies night? And she was like, well, duh. So we did. And this happened. But while this was happening, this was in the mail. You know, I'm not a quitter. You know, when I do something, I do it full throttle. And it's very, very bad for me to browse on Instagram because I follow accounts that keep me up to date on things that matter to me. <laughs> And then I also have the Sephora app and because I'm Rouge, it's like, do you want first access to something? And I was like, yes, yes I do. And here we are. Okay, I don't know where to begin because I am so happy with all my purchases. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, usually you're like, well, <clears throat> definitely not. Like, Target haul, watch my Target haul. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, so you guys know my favorite perfume at the moment. I was gonna say of all time, but that's not that's not fair. My favorite perfume at the moment is Missing Person by Fleur. And I didn't have the purse size, so I was like, yes, I do want a purse size so that I could carry it in my purse. That's what this is. This I know it's anticlimactic. I was like, it's just Okay, you know what is not anticlimactic? Just take a moment, take a moment. This is online only, which I find super offensive. Online only, missing person body wash, missing person body lotion. <gasps> Y'all, I am gonna smell like I am so missing. I'm a cold case, like body wash and body lotion. Did you know about that? Are you guys fans of Missing Person? I do remember getting the comment a lot that says, it doesn't smell good on me. It makes me smell like I'm in a retirement home. It doesn't smell make, make me smell like that. I'm so basic, you guys. When people like ask me like, wow, you smell good, what is it? I'm like, hmm. do you wanna be my friend? <laughs> like, how sad is that? <laughs> do you wanna be, you wanna be friends? So, I've never been asked as often as, I've never been asked about my fragrance as often as I have. This is the only fragrance that I've been asked as much. You know what I'm trying to say? Like before it was clean skin, like everyone would tell me, what's your perfume? And I'm like, clean skin. And then they'd be like, and I'm like, no, no, that's literally the name of the fragrance. So I just, I can't, I can't do that anymore. Like I don't want to, I don't want to put people through that emotional roller coaster, you know? But after that, Every time I wear this fragrance, we're like, what is your perfume? And I'm like, missing person. You're welcome. And now that they have, look how big these jugs are. <sighs> did I just, I did. I just, did you guys see that? Did anybody see that? Cause I got body wash on stuff. 
you know I'm gonna scrape it up and use it later, but this is very exciting. It is, how many ounces? 16 ounces of body lotion and body wash. This is a decent size and with a pump, I'm in. Fleur, I love you. You know who else I love? Pharmacy. And this is gonna be weird because we just talked about a uh, cleansing balm from the drugstore, but here's the thing is, Pharmacy every year for the holidays releases a trio with limited edition flavors. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. ESL right here. English as a second language. I didn't speak English until I was like six, maybe seven. Okay, I didn't read well until I was nine. Mind your business. So I say flavors and I think that the website, yeah, look, limited edition tea inspired flavors. I get it every year. Every year I get the pharmacy holiday trio and this is what I'm talk this is what I'm talking about when I say rouge early access. Do you want this? And I was like, "Yes. Yes, I do." So the Pharmacy Green Clean is my favorite cleansing balm because it has a milky finish as opposed to a very hydrating. Like, it's not hydrating. It's oily. I don't like when they say hydrating finish. It's not Give me a milky finish because your sister is greasy. So these have a milky finish, which is nice. They remove everything. In fact, last year, Irma was Gamora. And she calls me in a panic and she's like, dude, I have a parent-teacher conference tomorrow and my face is green. And I was like, girl, I got you. I gave her a brand new tub of pharmacy green clean, like the classic one, and it was just all came off. However, as much as I love her, she's one of my best friends, it would have been very entertaining for her to show up at a parent-teacher conference with a green face. But I can't do that to my girl. So like I had to make a tough decision. So anyway, it is, it's legit. And it's not greasy, but we are gonna smell these flavors. The trio is tea inspired. So we have warm vanilla chai. That's my drink at Starbucks. I know they're like known for their coffee and their espressos, but for me, it's all about the chai tea latte. Although chai and tea are the same word and that kind of rubs me the wrong way. I want to be like chai latte. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. That's where it's at. I'm going to put that all over my face. And then the chamomile rose. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to like this one. Maybe I should have read the description. Oh, actually, that just smells like clean like um like a spa you know it's like herbal like a spa i can fetch it and then wild raspberry okay are we trying to induce labor oh that's nice that just smells like raspberry candy i like it okay cool so yeah every year pharmacy trio of flavors i think last year was like blueberry orange and something else i just ran out of my third tub like i completed the set when the boys do their eye black i think that's what it's called like for baseball like that, that black lipstick they put under their eyes it's the only thing that takes off the the if you try to let those boys take it off on their own they come out and it's just it's so much worse so i'll just take a little bit and just do a little and then they rinse it and it just everything comes off. It is magic. So this brand, the um, Green Clean from Pharmacy is always, always, always going to be a favorite. But I'll also link a really good drugstore version, twice as big, half the price, just as good in the description box below. Okay, you might be interested in this. Yes, yes, I am, Sephora. Yes, I do want early access to this. By Rare Beauty because I'm obsessed with liquid and cream blushes and highlights. Two of these are from the original collection. Two of them are limited edition. Don't do that to me, Selena Gomez. Like, you know better. You know better to do limited edition. You know, like, she's a girl, you would think. She's so thoughtful and everything else. Why would she do limited edition? Don't do that, because if I fall in love with it, then I'm... Hold your breath. Just... Please hold your breath. One of the worst but best things about the holiday kits are the size because they're really great for trying, like for trials or like for trying or discovering new products, but they're also hilarious. But because I love miniature things, it's always super funny to me and super cute and I get very excited, but at the same time, there's that like, <gasps> you know, when I get it, I'm like, wow, it's so exciting. Oh my God, I'm so excited to try this. Oh my God, why is it so small? And then I'm like, oh, it's a little. <laughs> well, look at this. 
Why are you so small? It's like Sophia. So Sophia can play with makeup. Look at how little they are. They're so small. But I mean, like, when's the last time you went through a whole product? Okay, we're going to do a blush. Yeah, we're going to do a blush. We're going to do the other blush. Right there. Just do a little more. Okay. And then the two illuminators. Oh, I think this one might be a little too dark for me, but you know I'm going to find use for it. Because there isn't glow that I've ever met that I need to turn down. You know, anybody else? All right. We're going to get a napkin ready because we're going to need it. So there is the peach blush. Oh, wow. Holy pigment of my life. So if you have like a really, I'm holding it up in case you hear a weird sound. If you have a heavy hand, like this is a really good size for the product because a little tiny dot, like that tiny dot is good enough for both my cheeks. Not those cheeks, Cochina. Okay, there we go. Let's do the illuminator. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Wow. Okay, now the other one. I can't, I can't do this like whole perspective. I'm not good at perspectives. Like I'm the one that has to like stand on top of a map at Six Flags, you know? Like you have to physically stand on top of it. Does any, anybody else? No? Have you heard of that? I mean, it might be a really good life hack. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Okay, Selena Gomez. So, okay, you know, they're so cute and so little, but you saw that tiny little drop. It's going to cover my entire face. It's going to be, I mean, let's, let's be honest. The shelf life of liquid and cream products is not as extensive as powder products. So I don't think you need anything bigger than this. I wonder if that could be used on your lips. Okay, I had to. Uh-huh. Yep. It's the little tiny beauty blender. It's the one that I use for my cream and liquid highlights and blushes. And you know, I don't know if they last as long as regular beauty blenders or maybe I'm violent because I really like, I tear them. That's weird, right? Like that's a weird thing to do. How am I applying my cream? products that I tear them. You know what I think might have happened is because I was like hitting pan that I was like trying to contort it. Do you guys remember? Like I did that in a few get ready with me. So I had to contort the sponge to really get in there. And I think I may have ripped them a little bit. So I had to get a, I had to get a replacement. Okay. Who's excited about this? Don't lie to me. It's been a minute that I get excited about an eyeshadow palette. And by a minute, I mean a year at least. The Fall Romance Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm just going to flash it at you and all you have to do is say yes, review it or please no more eyeshadow palettes. Like that's it. It's all you have to do. I am so stoked. Six mattes, three duo chromes, and I think three metallics. I'm so ready for this. Like it's been a minute. And I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm a little uh, on the fence because the Anastasia palettes before had 14 pans, smaller pans, but 14. Now they only have 12. So they changed the format of the pans, how many and how big, but the palette itself is still like that velvety packaging. But I'm like, I'm not swatching this for you. Mm -mm. You gotta tell me if you wanna review. If you wanna review, I'm gonna give you all the swatches all over that you want. I'm gonna put it on my eyes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the review because I've been waiting for something like this for a while. You know what I should also be waiting for is like a hairspray delivery. What is going on? Like, just pretend it's cute. Okay, let's just, that's what's in the box. You wanna see what's in the bag. I've used what's in the bag and that's why I'm so excited to do this part because I can give you like mini 50 second review. No, I can't. I can't do anything mini. I can't do anything quick. I can't do anything in seconds, but we're going to talk about the stuff that's in here. The first thing is the Tower 28 concealer. So good. I don't know why I saved the box. I guess I was just to like put out the vibe of like, this is a haul. Look, I have the packaging, but I've put this on my face so much since I went with Irma to Sephora that I'm like, 
I don't need any more concealers in my life. No, maybe I do. There's a lot of really good ones, but this one, we're monogamous right now. We are full on monogamous. Tower 28 Weightless Serum Concealer has the power to visibly cover dark circles, hyperpigmentation, and redness. Designed for sensitive skin, non-irritating formula. Hydrate smooth texture skin without silicone. Medium buildable coverage with a natural finish. All of that is 100% accurate. It's now 9 o'clock. It's been on my face since 8 a.m. Yeah, like 13 hours. It's what's on my face right now. It is so good. It's basically like a filter for your skin. It has the right finish, the right amount of pigment, the right amount of coverage, the right amount of everything, the right amount of setting factor. I haven't touched up my makeup and it is 90 degrees outside. I volunteered at the boys' school. I walked to pick them up. I know, I know. Tower 28, can I have your babies? So Tower 28 Concealer, it's the Serum Concealer. I'm in the shade MDR or 9.0. It does not oxidize. I repeat, does not oxidize. I know, that's a big statement, but it is so true. Another Tower 28 product that I've been loving is the Sunny Days Broad Spectrum Tinted Sunscreen. I'm in the shade 20 or Maholland. That's what it looks like. It's very light coverage. It has a very beautiful finish. You can use it as a base product or you could just use it as a sunscreen. I love it. It is so just so actually, you know what? Let me just say for sensitive skin, won't cause breakouts, non-greasy, natural finish, uh, mineral protection, SPF 30. Mineral. It does not look or feel like mineral. I love that. Because, you know, I prefer, I would prefer to put mineral sunscreens on my face, but I would also prefer not to look like I covered myself in like a thick white layer. So mineral is really hard to pull off very gracefully and Tower 28 really figured out how to do that. Let's talk about the Kosas Cloud Set Powder. So it's the Baked Setting and Smoothing Primer. Sorry. Super Smooth No Shine All Set. Ultra soft, sheer setting and smoothing powder baked with skincare additives, actives, that help minimize shine and appearance of pores. I don't know why I'm showing you the box, like this is what it looks like. <laughs> I'm in the shade Feathery, it's a sheer light medium. This is what it looks like, how cute is that? I love how subtle it is. It's a, uh, you see it's like a little dome. I have one complaint, that's it, just one, and I don't even think it's, I don't think it's worthy of being a complaint. Actually, I just saw the shine on my face. It's not worthy of a complaint, but I mean, if you love to use specific tools like I do, then it's something that's worth noting. I love to apply my powder with my damp beauty blender. It's a habit I got into and I really love the finish that it gives. If you go in with a damp beauty blender on this compact, you're gonna get the makeup scab. Dun, dun, dun! You know the makeup scab? If you guys love MAC, you know what the makeup scab is. MAC products are notorious for getting the makeup scab. I hate that. So what I'm having to do is get into the habit of using a brush with this compact. And it's fun because the powder is amazing. Is it gonna replace my Laura Mercier? Well, no, let's not be crazy now, but it is a great finishing powder. It is a great setting powder. It really does keep your shine at bay, but it's been th like, it's been 13 hours. Come on, like, let's be realistic, guys. It's, it's a really beautiful, I don't know what doing this will do for you guys, but there's this watch. There's an another swatch, it's just powder, it's just powder. Is it doing it for you though? Like, is it like giving you the effect? I love it. It's a really, it's a really great powder. Now, Kosas, if you give this to me in a loose format, then it may, I said it, it may replace my Laura Mercier. <gasps> I know, like what? Was she talking crazy? You know what else is crazy? <sighs> Lip oil. This is already in my favorites. Like that's how quickly it made it into my favorites. Milk Makeup Odyssey Lip Oil Gloss. A high shine gloss made with nourishing oils. <sighs> okay, you know, when I talk about oils with you guys, I'm like, oh, lip oils, 
they're so good but generally speaking they're stains like they're lip oil stains and some of you guys are like okay well I don't want my lips to look berry toned okay I got you girl I heard you loud and clear look at this look at this it doesn't have a funky smell to it makeup revolution it doesn't have a staining power it's not sticky it's super comfortable oh, quest this is the shade quest I'm actually not inclined to try any of the other shades. Like, none of them call out to me. But this one, mm. It's so good. Like, what color is that? You see it in the tube and it's like, is it brown? Is it taupe? Is it mo like mauve? I don't know. It's this. So cute, right? Mm-hmm. I know. I know. You know what I'm a little scared to try? I haven't even I haven't even opened it like I opened it but I haven't like opened it this is the new house labs tri clone skin tech concealer like can we just not with these names like why are they getting so intense you know it's like super megalodon concealer like I'm just have a just full coverage concealer you know remember when I like the good old days when it was simple like dewy concealer full coverage concealer matte finish concealer like we, we were simple so that's what it looks like. I mean, the, the packaging is sleek and it's sexy and simple and nice. It looks a little bit sciency maybe, but this concealer, I remember swatching it in store. Look at that giant applicator. It's like not even a doe foot. It's like a spongy Q-tip. Where am I going to put it? How about, how about right there? Okay, I'll put it right there. Oh no, I think this might be too dark for me. What was I thinking? This is the shade Medium Peach. Do you see it right there? Okay, hold on. Remember, perspective. Let me stand on the map for a second. Okay, there we go. Like, look at it. It's like a layer of, I don't want to say paint because that sounds negative, but it's one of those concealers that you don't feel like you're wearing it. Like, it's lightweight or invisible, but visually there is nothing invisible about it. I do have to say, though, I wore this in the store and walked around, and it does oxidize. So obviously on the side of my hand, it's going to be a weird shade, but it is the right shade for me now that I, like, now that I blended it out. Oh, yeah, that's right. The finish is a little matte for my taste. Let me actually see what it's described as. Bum, bum, bum. Infused with 20 skincare ingredients, clean concealer, brightens and covers with a weightless serum-like texture that blends seamlessly for a hyper smooth second skin finish. Clean, cruelty-free, and vegan. So it has a hyaluronic acid complex. That's pretty cool. I didn't know all that. That is super cool. Apply anywhere you want to seamlessly conceal, brighten, and blur. Definitely does have blurring effect. And it reminds me a lot, so much, of the serum concealer from Live Tinted. It is similar, like super similar in terms of the way it feels and how much coverage it provides. So I'm going to have to test that out like on my face and then give you guys like a real, isn't that funny? Like the ones that I love, I'm like packaging out the window. The ones that I'm like, maybe not yet. Not sure. That's the four return policy though. Okay, Rose Ink Blush Divine in Camellia. There's the packaging in case you care. This is a refillable cream blush and it's described as hydrating cream that brightens and blurs with a radiant flush of color. It's pigment rich and creates a spectrum, contains a spectrum of skincare ingredients. Improve the appearance of skin's health with each use on my face since 8 a.m. It's 9 p.m. It's really good. I don't know why I did that inflection. That's what the compact looks like. It's refillable, so you just buy the pans after you buy it the first time. Oh my goodness. Like, if you swatch it in store, you're like, why is it so sticky? It's so thick and creamy. Like, what? I'm doing something wrong. I must be. Mm -mm. Give it a chance, you guys. It's like... I can't. I just, I just run to put it on my face. 
I know. Is it going to replace like my Holy Grail rare, uh, rare beauty, nearly neutral? No, 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 no. But it's just as good because I like that one more, you know, like this one's just like a scotch more purple or like mauve, but hmm. It's gonna be perfect for fall. Like I'm summoning fall with all this makeup. Look at this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, we're almost done. Okay, how many of you want to smell sexy but can't pull it off? How many of you want to wear Victor and Rolf's flower bomb but smell like uh, you live in a retirement home? Uh, how many of you just have given up and you're like, I just can't pull off, you know, sexy to me is like smelling like coconut and sunscreen, maybe some pineapple, maybe some mango. I don't know. Maybe, uh, downy. Like, let's be honest. <laughs> the Sol de Janeiro limited edition after hours perfume mist that smells like midnight jasmine and amber woods is like Victor and Rolf's flower bombs, baby sister. Yeah, it's like training wheels for those of us that just can't really hang, you know? Like, do you go to ladies night like once a week? Okay, I go like once a quarter. So this is for you because it's gonna give you that sultry, sexy, like almost strong scent. I just, I can't describe it other than that. The other thing I can tell you is I bought this with Irma. She smelled like I sprayed it. I remember spraying it on my muscle. Like I sprayed it right on my bicep and I was like, dude, get a whiff. Wow. That is, that's new. We're just going to smell that. I told her not this smell that I told her and she was like, puts it in her basket. We go to dinner. We meet our other girlfriends and I like whip it out. And I was like, both of them bought it. Not that night, because we were busy, obviously. But they got it the next couple days. Paola and Isabel both got it. It's just... Listen. End of the day, put the kids to bed, take a shower, do a couple spritz, and then go tell your husband that you need to have a meeting with him. No regrets. You're welcome. Follow me for more pro hacks. Life hacks? You know what I'm trying to say. Okay. I'm really on the fence about this. I haven't actually tried it, but I don't even know if I want to because it's it's just a little too much for me. This is the Kaja Juicy Glass Instant Hydrating and Plumping Oil in Plum Paloma. That's what the packaging looks like. This is what the lip gloss looks like. No, ma'am, your eyes do not deceive you. That is a heart. Like, is this a baby toy? Like, is this a rattle? Is this a lip gloss from Bonnie Bell? Is this for children? Like, if it just had like a fixed heart at the top and then like the clear top, so it looked like it ha it was like a heart with like a cover over it, I could see that, but the, I'm not carrying that in my purse, y'all. Like, you know, I shouldn't be talking because I have like a, a pachaco in my background and squishmallows and, I love stickers, but I don't know. This is making me feel some type of way. So I'm gonna put it on on camera and we'll decide together. Ready? Hmm, okay. It's a little sticky like a gloss, not super oily. With oils, they're usually like a gel. This is a little bit of a hybrid between an oil. Oh, actually, no. It applies sticky, but it's not sticky. Oh, is it tingling? Is it tingling? making my lips tingle. In a good way. Yeah, plumping lip oil, duh. Fresh fruity scent, high shine glass finish. Plumping, nourishing, and non-sticky. Yeah, you're right, it's non-sticky. It is plumping. You know what it reminds me of? Like Sanrio gum. Do you guys remember Sanrio gum? Like back in the day, you'd go and you'd get a little, little thing of Sanrio gum and you'd break it off in like little chunks. It was like a strip and then you could cube it. Yeah, that's what it smells like. I don't, <laughs> I love it. Love how it smells, love how it feels, appreciate the tingle. I don't know, what do you guys think? Am I being dramatic? Like am I being spoiled, entitled and ridiculous right now? What would you do? What would you do in my shoes? If you were a fan of lip oils, you, you know, it's, 
you just, you know, you're like a lip oil connoisseur and you just look forward to lip oils and you're just like on the verge of like trying all the newest and the latest and the greatest and then you run into this. What would you think? I mean, it's, it's pretty. Is it Paloma? Plum Paloma. I don't know guys. What I do know is that's it. And it's only been like 45 minutes. Sorry. Sorry about that. No, yeah, am I really sorry? No, I, I love hanging out with you guys. And I love getting excited about makeup because it's been a minute. And I am so excited. So excited. Do what I told you. I guarantee it. I promise you're gonna have fun. <sighs> okay, like any and all my videos, all of the items, the products that I mentioned, the products that I showed, my shirt, my necklace, everything is gonna be listed in the description box of this video. But, what would you do? Like, you gotta let me know. If you do anything in this video, leave me a comment and tell me what you would do. Like, it's a little much, right? Maybe not, maybe I'm just like overthinking it like I usually do. Anyway, that is it for this haul video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Everything that I talked about will be listed in the description box of this video. I don't think that's it. I love you guys so much and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this copy break is over. Bye guys. You're thinking about it. You're thinking about it. <laughs>